In this video, we'll demonstrate how to load paper and toner into the Durable Catalyst. To load paper into the standard tray, pull the tray out by its handle to the open position. Fan your stack of supply to separate the sheets from one another. If necessary, gently tap the edges of the stack on a flat surface. Load your supply face down with the top edge towards the front of the printer and adjust the rear stopper and paper guides to fit snug against the supply. Finally, gently push the paper tray to the closed position. If you're using the optional secondary tray, you can load it the same way. Now, we'll load the optional multi-purpose tray. Start by pulling the tray down by its handle to the open position. Pull out and unfold the paper support. Then load the supply and adjust the paper guides to the size of supply being used. Press the blue tray latch button to the left to raise the platform so that the supply is lifted and gripped in place. To change the toner, first press the cover release button and the printer's cover will spring upwards. Remember that the pilot cartridges that came with Catalyst need to be completely used before you replace them. To remove a toner cartridge, slide the blue release collar on the empty cartridge to the right. Then lift the right end of the cartridge and pull it up and to the right. Place the cartridge where any residual toner won't make a mess. Remove the new cartridge from its box, but leave it in the wrapping for just a moment. The cartridge's toner may have settled during shipping. While the cartridge is still in its wrapping, gently shake the new cartridge from end to end several times to loosen and distribute the toner evenly inside the cartridge. Then, remove the wrapping material. Be sure to place the cartridge in its correct slot. The slots are identified with a small label on the left side, which should correspond to the label on the cartridge. From front to back, the cartridges should be black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Insert the left end of the cartridge into the printer first, pushing it against the spring on the drum unit. Then lower the right end of the cartridge into place. Finally, slide the blue release collar to the left. Once all needed replacements have been made, gently wipe the LED head surface with a damp, clean cloth. Close the top cover, pressing down firmly at both sides so that the cover latch is closed. Catalyst is now ready to print. If you need further assistance or have any other questions about Catalyst, feel free to give us a call. Or follow the link back to the graphic product support page for FAQs, downloads, or to chat live online.